Hello and welcome to my guide for Cupid, the god of love. Cupid is a ranged physical DPS that is adept at dealing a good amount of damage while also contributing crowd control effects and healing to assist his team. His passive love struck stacks up to 10 times based off auto attacks hitting a target. Each stack gives a 3% bonus to damage on his heart bomb or 3% increased healing on his spread the love ability. At 10 stacks, his next heart bomb or fields of love skill will stun on detonating. His one skill, Heart Bomb, damages the target, slows them, and places a mark above their head. After a short time, it will detonate around the marked target, dealing damage in an area around them. If 10 stacks of Love Struck were active when the skill was used, then it will also stun the target and anyone around them for one second. His two skill, Spread the Love, throws three hearts on the ground for you or your allies to pick up. When allied players pick one up, mana will be restored to Cupid. If all three are picked up by allies, Cupid will gain more mana than he had spent. Be careful where you place hearts as it will let your enemies know where you or your ally are likely to walk next. His 3 skill, Flutter, dashes Cupid forward, leaving behind a trail of hearts. Any ally in the heart effect gains increased movement speed. After dashing, Cupid also gains bonus attack speed for the next 4 seconds. His 4 skill, Fields of Love, fires arrows in an area of his choosing. All targets caught in the volley will be slowed. After a short moment, the arrows will explode, causing a good chunk of damage to anyone caught and also mesmerizing them for 3 seconds. Damage done to any mesmerized target will end the effect early. I put my first point into heart bombs, my second point into spread the love, my third point back into heart bombs, my fourth point into flutter, and then after that I'm going to prioritize my ultimate, then my one, then my two, and then finally my three. Cupid loves physical power and attack speed. I start with tier one warrior tabby, tier one devourer's gloves, and one mana potion. This gives nice damage and good sustain for the early laning phase. I finish the Devourer's Gloves as soon as possible in order to begin its stacks early. Next I build the Executioner for cheap damage. I then max Executioners and Warrior Tabby before moving on in my build. With those two max, the build varies. If I need damage, then Deathbringer is the best item for damage. If I need a little more survivability but still want damage, then Cheen's Blade becomes my next item. If damage isn't a big factor and I need survivability, then Witchstone is a great choice. Witchstone can be replaced with a high health item if physical damage isn't a threat to your team. Replace it with more health from Gauntlet of Thebes or Silver Fox Girdle. Eventually you'll want all three of these items, but take them in the order you need them. When it comes to abilities, take Aegis for the high burst teams, Purification Beats to fight CC heavy teams, and Heavenly Agility to give your team more mobility. Cupid's Heart Bombs will detonate if the marked target dies early. This means you can trigger the stun mid-late game instantly if you can hit the back of the minion line or a dying target. In this example, a retreating Anubis gets too close to the minion wave, so I go for the easy stun into a kill. Share the Love's Heart will bounce off terrain allowing you to clump them up together like in this example. This also allows you to pick up two hearts instantly rather than having to run around for Here's an example of this in practice. We're fighting an Anubis from Monolane and Anubis misses his bind, which means that we can go in now. We go in on Guan Yu, I throw out my ult, and we end up picking off Anubis. See, Vimana wants to continue chasing, but knowing that I can't quite stay in there, I decide to try and bait him instead. I throw my hearts against the wall, pick up two of them immediately, pick up the third one, and continue to bait him to chase me the our minion line, and so Guan Yu's still beating on him. I kite him around the minions, and he ends up being picked off here, realizing he's extended too far. Just takes a little bit before I can actually hit with my auto attacks, but he does end up dying right there. Another thing you can do is you can chain your one stun into your ult stun. The one stun goes off forcing Cupid's beads, and so I throw out my ultimate, and that means he doesn't have any beads to escape my mesmerize. This allows Ra to immediately pick him up with the ultimate, and then we walk out with a kill. Thanks for watching. I'm planning on doing some more of these guides. Uh, leave some criticism because I'd like to see what you guys liked, didn't like about this video, so I can improve in the future. I also uploaded the full game where I got some of this footage from, so you can also check that out once it's finished uploading. Um, thanks for watching.